So here's another classic arcade game. This one you might not be as familiar with. This is Pac-Land for arcade. And this is really cool because this is... Um, I haven't set up a gem button, have I? Hold on. This is a... Um, oh, God. Oh, really? I'm just going to assume button one is jump. So we'll just go with that. It's a platformer, and it's actually a platformer that, yep, button one is jump, that predates Super Mario Brothers. Okay, can't push that one, huh? All right. Oh, it goes coming at me. Some of these you can push, and there's, like, things hidden in them. Let's see. Nope. All right. Oh! Ghost driving cars. Look at the parallax scrolling. This game came out in 1984. Power pellet! It's also a time limit, and I am kind of derping around a little too much. Oh, fuck you, Clyde. Yeah, we're running out of time. Cherry! Oh, God, I'm almost there. Timeout, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, once you get a timeout, the ghosts like start getting really aggressive. That was my bad. I was derping around too much at the beginning, pushing on the things. There's certain ones that you can grab. So this is sort of the original platformer. It was actually very influential on uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and you're bringing these fairies to uh, the Great Fairy Queen. And if you've seen the trailer that um, for... Um, Cherry. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, you know, Pac-Man and Super Smash Brothers. Uh, you notice the Wii U version ah, fuck, has a stage. Ah, I can't do this. Oh. A stage based on this game. Which is really cool. And the 3DS version is more based on the original Pac-Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking Cowboy Blinky. There's Matrix Poochie. Oh. Tree stump. Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm running out of time fast. Fuck! Oh, I got pogoed by Clyde there. At least that resets my time. It looks easier than it is. And the longer you run for uninterrupted, the faster he gets. Which, considering you're on a time limit is kind of important. But yeah, there was a lot of stuff in the trailer, though, that was uh, references, references to this game. And they've recently released... Uh, well, they were, they were talking about they were going to release this on um, Virtual Console for Wii U. Which was kind of exciting at for Oh, fucking shit. You know, Clyde looks like uh, Captain Twinkie there. Let's play again. Um, but anyway... Uh, it was actually the Famicom version, which, like, so don't expect graphics like this. I mean, it's still a pretty good game, but it's not as good. I'm not going to bother trying to push the damn things. I, I want to get the cherry, though. All right, fuck the cherry. Time's running out real fast. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. All right, I got some speed. So there's a lot of, like, quirky things to this game that games at the time didn't do. Parallax scrolling, I mean, that wasn't really popularized until the 16-bit era. Um, you can actually... Oh! All right. In some versions of the game, you can grab those little ghosts. I think that's more of the uh, Japanese version. I'm playing the world version. But, um... What the fuck was I saying? You know, parallax scrolling, um, just the fact that it's a, a platformer at all before Super Mario Brothers. I mean, I think, you know, Donkey Kong was out, but this came out in 1984, so this kind of graphics wasn't seen at all in, in uh, oof, I got swarmed. Man, I was hoping to finish at least one of these levels, but I really think that Clyde looks like Twinkie the Kid there. Oh, I thought he was going to dip lower. Bad read on my part. Alright, one more try, just because I am I'm a fan of this game. It's a great game that not many people have played. 
Try it again. You can also, if you want to actually beat it and it does like have an ending, uh, it's extremely long for... Uh... Well, I guess all arcade games back then were extremely long because they didn't really have an ending, but this does have an ending, and it, it would take like probably around an hour to get through the whole thing. And a lot of credits, of course. Got him. You know, so Pack also jumps a lot higher when he has the power pellet. Controls are pretty good, I mean. The NES version, the Famicom one, not so much, but, you know. There we go. Did it. Well, forgot to break time at least. See, what you have to do is you have to get to the end of this whole area, and there you'll find the Great Fairy. And uh, what you do is you, you bring the fairy there, and then you got to make it back. Oh! The thing is, though, when you're going back, it's a little bit easier because you get these running shoes that let you do, like, mid-air jumps. So basically, pack starts, like, flying. Oh, boy. Parts of fucking whore. There we go. Oh, right. He's already got killed before. Keep an eye out. Ooh, I didn't get the cherry. There they are on their fucking pogo sticks. Why would ghosts go around on pogo sticks trying to step on. Oh! I thought I was jumping into the power pellet! I was going a little too fast. Oh, right. Yeah, I think this is actually the, the uh, not the Japanese, or the American version, because the Japanese version actually had crosses on top of the churches in the background. Alright, I made it this far before, but... Oh! The momentum changed! Alright, well, that's Pac-Land. It's a really cool game, you know... It's also on Wii U Virtual Console, the NES Famicom version. Check it out. Very influential game. Got one more Pac-Man game for you, and it's one that I've never even played, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Coming up next.